Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about my Deuter 65 liter plus 10 liter pack. So this pack comes in one size, so it doesn't matter if you need small, medium, or large because of the spine on the back. So this spine can get adjusted where you can just pull this up and this piece can slide down and get put into any section of this depending on how tall you are. So I've got it set pretty high because I'm tall, <laughs> but you want to set right so that it sits on your hips properly. So we're gonna go into the pack next and then we'll go towards the outside of the pack towards the end of the video. So going inside, this portion here is 65 liters. So on the bottom, there's a zipper that you can shut the, a separate compartment off if you'd like a separate compartment or it can be one big pack. And then in here there's also additional storage, like in this sleeve. So we will load this up right now and then show you how much we can fit into the pack and then we'll go to the outside. So we are going to start with the water. So we have two empty one gallon jugs of water. So we're going to put that on the bottom of the pack first. Some people put them sideways, some people put them up and down. It all depends on what feels most comfortable for you. And then let's throw a couple pillows in for fun. And then got a wise owl hammock here, we'll fill that in. And then you still do have some room to put additional things in there. So if you want to throw a camera on the top or we take a cook stove for our freeze dried meals, you could throw that on the top as well. And then all you have to do is pull this here and that'll get nice and tight like that. So at this point, you have the extra 10 liters up here to fill up as well. We decided to put our tent right here so we could use the bottom part for the sleeping bag. So this is our big tent. So we go just like this and fold this over the tent. And it'll just clip right into place. So that's what it looks like to have the pack mostly filled up. And then on the top here, We've got this zipper that opens up into this big compartment and this will fill up a lot more than you see here if you don't store the tent like this. But for what we do, that's all we need. For that, I guess I'll show you size-wise. We've got our mountain house meal here. We can put that inside of it. Got a couple cliff bars and there's still a lot more room to spare. And going down the pack, we've got extra storage here on each side for water. So you can either have something here to clip in or with water bottles, you can fit three on each side. We've got two out here just for examples, but you can fit a third one in. And this is on the other side. And then going towards the front of the pack, Down the hip straps, you've got extra storage in here. So you can throw a couple of granola bars in there, your phone, anything small. So it's about the size of my hand just for reference. And that's on each one. And then putting the pack on. So you always want to start with the hip straps loosened first, so then you can tighten those down. As mine's too tight. And then you just pull these straps each way, and that tightens down. And then up here the chest strap, and tighten that down as well. And this is how the pack is currently sitting. It's not loaded properly because the water jugs are empty right now. 
and that's everything for the pack. So we took this pack and Sarah's pack out to Reflection Canyon and I believe we each took two to three gallons of water and packed it up full for one night. So that was plenty for us. If you don't need to take three gallons of water, you can easily do a couple day hike with a pack this size. So thank you guys for watching.